Previously on Rock Bottom, Estefan Rodriguez passed up the opportunity to be king of the small nation of Pequeño in order to go to a party thrown by roommates Kitty Boone and Barbie La Trollope. Kitty's attempt to get back together with her ex-boyfriend Lance von Chauvin failed when she revealed that she had intentionally impaled him with a javelin the year before. And newspaper editor Roxy Biloxi unwittingly led the psychotic killer known as Machete Melvin right to the party and her fellow students. Tonight, Rock Bottom, Episode 4, Shut Up. When last we saw our young heroine, Kitty was outside her dorm, toe-to-toe with a psychotic Machete Melvin. Please, please don't hurt me! Hold still now. This will only take a minute. You're going to kill me, aren't you? Can you survive being dismembered with a machete? No! Then yes, I am. Hey, who's that guy in the hockey mask? Where? Where? I'm your biggest fan. Hey, there's no guy in it. Where did she go? Oh, poop. Inside Stumblin' Hall, Kitty flees to the relative safety of her room where her party is still going on. Bobby, Lance, Lance, Mach- 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 Kitty, what's the matter? Turn off the music for a second, Laszlo. Now quiet down, everybody. Take a deep breath, Kitty, and tell us what's wrong. <sighs> Machete Melvin just tried to kill me! Oh, my God. That guy I led here was Machete Melvin. Way to go, Roxy. Shut up, Chris. Somebody call campus police. Uh, I'll do it. Hey, the phone's dead. Oh, this is horrible. Kitty Boone, this is all your fault. If I get killed, my father's going to sue this school and every one of your parents. Ever since high school, you've done nothing but get me in trouble. Shut up, Boopsie. Why, Kitty Boone, I can't believe you would speak to me in such a manner after you and I have been best friends for just years and years. Shut Shut up, Boopsie! Oh, I don't have to put up with this. I'm going back to my room. Boopsie, you can't go out there. Kitty is right. We should all stay together. There's safety in numbers. We're just lucky that our parties are so fabulous that everybody on campus is here, mostly. Please don't go, Boopsie. I'm sorry I told you to shut up. Hmm. I don't believe you for one minute, Kitty Boone. A machete killer stalking college students? Who would believe a story like that? You're all fools for listening to her. So what are we going to do now? Maybe I could blow him up. Shut up, Chris. Maybe somebody could throw a javelin at him. Shut up, Lance. Anybody want to play a three-man? Shut up, Jock. You shut up, Barbie. No, you shut up, Jock. No, you shut up, Barbie. Shut up, both of you. Hey, don't tell Barbie to shut up. Oh, Laszlo, you're so protective. Wait, somebody's missing. Where's Esteban? He wasn't feeling well. He went outside. Oh, I hope he's all right. He's a babe. What? Oops. Shut up, Barbie. I'll see you guys later. Where are you going? There's a story out there. I'm not just going to sit here until they catch that guy. I'm going to check this out. Roxy, don't be crazy. Shut up, Lance. I can take care of myself, thank you. Is everyone insane? There's a psycho with a machete out there. Actually, there's a psycho with a machete in here. Maybe it's my breath. Outside, the frightened students scatter in all directions across campus, passing a very confused Estefan Rodriguez. Hey, where's everybody going? Machete Melvin's inside. Run! Wait! Uh, Mr. Rodriguez, there you are. Enjoying your party, I trust? Mr. Fleesome, I really don't have time for this right now. I'm sorry, Mr. Rodriguez, but Pequeño needs their king. And that means you. I ask you one last time to lead with me, now. Look, I don't want to be king of some small Central American island that nobody's ever heard of. But it's your duty, your sacred, honor-bound obligation. Shut up, Mr. Fleeson. I'm sorry, but you're starting to get on my nerves. I'm just not interested. Then I'm afraid I have no other choice. Oh. I hope that didn't hurt too much, Mr. Rodriguez. I'll ask you when you wake up on the plane to Pequeño. At that moment, in the woods near Quaker Hills, Chris Nitro and Jock Mulligan flee from the killer. Keep running, Chris. You can be right behind us. Uh, That's better. Jock, watch out for that. You all right? I think so. What happened? We fell. No kidding. Where are we? Looks like a big well. Must be pretty old. It was all covered over. I didn't see it until we were on top of it. We're pretty deep. Can we climb out? These bricks look look pretty loose. They may crumble if we try to climb out. We should call for help. We ran pretty far out of the, into the woods. No one ever comes out this far. 
Well, think of something. You're supposed to be the super brain freak. Shut up, Jock. Hypocritical alternative weirdo. Ignorant apathetic Neanderthal. We take our leave of the two happily stranded students and join Barbie and Laszlo. <laughs> faster, Laszlo, faster! They're running away too, just in case there was any confusion. Stop, Barbie. The machete guys know we're in sight. Wow, we went all the way to parking lot B. I don't think I've ever run that fast in my life. Hey, who's that guy? Oh, wow. Hey, that's President McPaddywhack. Quick, Barbie, get down. Who's that guy he's talking to? He looks mean. Shut up and listen. I want Newton dealt with, and I want him dealt with soon. You want him taken care of? I'm the man for you, Nick. That's President McPaddywhack to you, Dumfries. Whatever you want, big guy. How come you want this guy offed anyway? Shut up. I want hired muscle, and that's all. You'll know what I want you to know when I want you to know it. Hey, you're the one signing my check. I don't want Professor Newton killed. I just want you to frighten him a little. Find out what he's up to and put a stop to it. Then report to me. But here, not in my office. And I don't want anyone on the board of trustees to see us together. In a week, Newton won't be a pain in your side anymore. Good. I have plans. Big plans. And no two-bit Siskel and Ebert wannabe is going to get in my way. Now let's go. I don't want campus police to see us. See you next week, Nicky baby. Oh my god, oh my god! The president of Rock Bottom is some kind of psycho fruitcake! Barbie, I gotta go. What? Where are you going? I've got to get the members of stuff together. The time has come. Resla, wait! I wanna come with you. Barbie, you wanna join stuff? Yes. I'm not sure what's going on, but I wanna help. Then let's go. Long live the revolution! At that very moment, elsewhere on campus... <laughs> oh, oh! Kitty, are you all right? I think I sprained my ankle. Where's everyone else? Well, everybody's scattered in different directions. Do you think you can walk? Hey, uh, what are you doing with that rock? Ow! Oh! What did you do that for? Oh, Lance, I'm sorry. I tried to tell you before. I should have told you when I started to see how we felt about each other. You see... When I was a little girl, my parents used to... Kitty, Kitty Boone! It's time for bed, young lady. Papa, do I have to go to bed? Don't talk back to your mother, young lady. Get on up to bed. Yes, Pa. Every night it was the same story. I'd get upstairs to bed, but strange noises I couldn't identify with would keep me awake. One night I crept back upstairs to get a glass of milk, and there were my parents. Have you been a naughty little wife? Yes, I'm sorry. Shut up. Naughty wives deserve to be punished, don't they? Yes, hit me, beat me. And you've been a naughty husband. Yes, hit me, beat me. Oh! 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 Bye, oh. Pa. What are you hitting each other for? Kitty! Hit me, beat me. Shut up, Pa. Kitty's awake. Saints alive, child. Why are you spying on your parents? I couldn't sleep. Why are you hitting each other? We, we were hitting each other because... Because we love each other. Yes. When you love someone so much, you can't stand it. Sometimes you just have to cause that person some physical pain. Oh, okay. Good night. Good night, kitten. Sleep well, Angel. And so you see, since then I've equated love with violence. When I saw you standing there at the track and field competition, I just felt such a strong surge of love that I had to hurl a javelin at you. I know how strange this must seem, but I can't help it. I'll understand if you want to leave and never speak to me again. Kitty, I never want to leave you, ever. Oh, Lance. Ow! Meanwhile, back in Boopsie's room. Oh, the nerve of that Kitty Boom. She's lucky I even dated Shaw at her little party. And then to make up such a story. A madman with a machete. What utter nonsense. Excuse me? Who are you? I'm Roxy Biloxi. I'm the editor of the Zenith, the campus newspaper. That rag? It's hardly worth the paper it's printed on. Nice to meet you, too. Mind if I come in? I suppose not. Have you seen a killer anywhere around here by chance? Oh, I wish people would just shut up about Hello, that. Hello, ladies. Machete Melvin, I've been looking everywhere for you. Why didn't you tell me who you were when we first met? I've been dying for the chance to interview you. No comment. Ah, there's blood on his machete. And soon there'll be a lot more. Uh-oh. My daddy's a senator. He'll see that you get the chair. Say goodnight, ladies. Open wide. Shh, shh. Oh, my eyes. Get the machete. I'll kill you both. I've got it, I've got it. I've got the machete. 
Don't move, dirtbag, unless you want to get turned inside out. All right, all right. Careful with that thing, girl. You could cut somebody wide open. Any comment on your capture by two college students you intended as your victims, Machete Melvin? Shut up. The next day, Sergeant Petunia of the campus police arrives to take Machete Melvin away. You kids did real good catching this guy. God knows we were stumped. We'll take care of him from here. Come on, you. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for those meddling kids. Roxy, just what did you spray in Machete Melvin's eyes? Pepper mace? <laughs> Pepper mace, please. It was newspaper ink, of course. What else would I use? At that moment, far, far from Rock Bottom College. Oh, where am I? And so, by the power vested in me as High Priest of the Canyon, I name thee King Estefan the First. Yay! Oh, no! Will Machete Melvin? Well, it doesn't really matter what Machete Melvin does now. But what will become of Estefan now that he has become involuntary king of Pequeño? Will Chris and Jock get out of the well before they kill each other? What is President McPaddywhack plotting, and how will Laszlo, Barbie, and Stop stop him? Will Lance survive Kitty's love? And will we ever get back to just what strange Professor Newton of the English Department is up to? Yes, we will, next week on Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom was written and directed by Brian Olson, produced by Rob Swift, Mike Fulham, Bill Bates, and Sam Broderick, and featured Brian Olson as the narrator, Machete Melvin and the Pequenian High Priest, Tara Kennedy as Kitty Boone, Amy Strack as Barbie Latrollop and Bootsy Mittens, Eric Olson as Lance Von Chauvin and President Nick Pickpaddywhack, Julie Post as Roxy Biloxi, Kitty's mother and Sergeant Petunia, Mike Fulham as Chris Nitro, Rob Swift as Larry Laszlo and Kitty's father, Jesse Rogers as Jock Mulligan and Dumfries, Bill Bates as Estefan Rodriguez, Sam Broderick as Jonathan Fleesom. Rock Bottom has been a production of The Tomato Heads. <laughs>